Hey guys, my name is Scholar and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to be building in prehistoric kingdom. But before we get any further along with the video, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys have enjoyed. So, prehistoric kingdom. I mean, what to say about prehistoric kingdom? There's a lot to say. Prehistoric kingdom is such a good game. I absolutely love that you don't have to like scroll down every single time you want like a different text. You can just put that different texture on. Now, I really don't want to diss Planet Zoo because that's one of the things that I've been a little bit uh, annoyed about. Um, just people not really giving Planet Zoo the appreciation that it deserves because if Planet Zoo wasn't around then I don't think Prehistoric Kingdom would be either. So yeah, it is quite important to me that I don't diss Planet Zoo too much. But there are so many incredible things about Prehistoric Kingdom that I really don't want to miss. And the resizable tool, or if I want to call it rescalable tool. I don't know, what are you guys calling it? <laughs> Tell me your ideas in the comment section down below. But actually, for a while, whilst I was uh, building that building, I completely forgot about the resizable tool and OMG when I came to use it I was like <clears throat> yes I remembered it but you know it's a little bit you know a little bit of a thing to remember that I feel like it, I feel like it should be more accessible but it's really good for like foliage and different placement in rocks and stuff and yeah it's definitely a very useful tool whether it is annoying or like a little bit unnecessarily I don't want to say hard because it's not hard to use it's just a little bit like sometimes you just have to remember it like if you haven't played prehistoric kingdom for a while like i haven't then it's a little bit of i don't want to say a hassle to remember because it really isn't but it's just another thing to remember like how and when to use it but just quickly whilst it's being used quite a bit on screen i really like how they have a two meter sized path um I keep I kept accidentally going down to it because obviously in Planet Zoo you just go down to the bottom and that's still four meters because yeah I've got to admit obviously I played a lot more Planet Zoo than I have Prehistoric Kingdom I mean pre Prehistoric Kingdom has been out for like not as long as Planet Zoo actually before I forget to mention Please, in the comment section down below, do not ask me anything about beta news because I have absolutely no idea, you know, what's happening with Prehistoric Kingdom beta. Um, that's like, that's like for YouTubers that have been YouTubing for a long time and you know know all the websites for these creators you know that's n <laughs> that's not me i don't um know all the things like that um but if i do find any beta news out very obviously the next time that i, I do a prehistoric kingdom video uh hopefully i'll be able to tell you guys that so in this build i I made the habitat and I thought, okay, that's a really good size. Um, and then I put the dinosaurs in and I realised it really wasn't. Um, so for quite a while I was just like, 
oh but I have the perfect shape I don't really want to mess it up but I did it off camera just because I get really annoyed at barriers uh, so I thought you guys might not want to watch that as <laughs> much me just getting angry at the barriers um but I changed it I made it bigger because uh, I was like you know what? I just wouldn't want that uh, it doesn't make like too much of a notable difference but it's definitely bigger I, I thought the dinosaurs would be so much smaller I, this is the thing like in planet zoo I always think the animals would be so much bigger whereas in prehistoric kingdom I think the animals are going to be so much smaller than they actually are <laughs> and they make Tiddly habitats. Wait, why did I just do barriers and none of the rest of the barriers? That's a bit weird. That's not something that I usually do. So I was like, oh, which dinosaur should I do? And then I was like, oh, no, that's a bit too small. Yeah, that's a good size. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Scarlet. It was like a huge shock to me when I was placing them into that habitat because I was like, oh, oh wow. Because if you don't have Prehistoric Kingdom and you're just watching this video, um, to either get ideas on Beta, which I unfortunately cannot give you, or if you're uh, watching this video to know if you should get the Beta, um, because you can't get it anymore because it's still alpha. Uh, but instead of like Planet Zoo, you just asking some keepers to bring them because we don't have keepers in Prehistoric Kingdom, you have to place them in yourself. So and you can choose to like put them back. But I was just like, nah, I can make this work. I can try and make this <laughs> work. But I. I didn't make it work without uh, changing the barrier size um which was it was a bummer but you know we're gonna try and move past it and while we're on the topic of barriers the barriers are in a way quite like planet zoo but also like very not like planet zoo like you can go as close to the path as you want to um <coughs> and you can like make them like just make them like curve in a straight way like you can't in planet zoo but the similar thing about them is that you can like it's really hard to explain you can make it like it it doesn't have to be path there to like for the guests to walk on it like they'll walk on anything because at the moment we don't have the elevation tool in uh, prehistoric kingdom so like you can just use construction pieces to be the path which i hope makes sense but probably people will generally be watching this who have prehistoric kingdom so i don't know maybe maybe that makes more sense than i think it is in my head sorry if you heard a bang then that was just my uh, chair so sorry about that uh, hopefully you won't have heard it but um just before we get any further along with the video and before i forget because i will forget if i don't say it now uh there's not going to be a real time part in this video because i really just wanted to see how the prehistoric kingdom videos are going because uh, the doll shoot was an absolute bop as I said in my last video that video wasn't as much but that's okay I mean I it, I wasn't expecting it to be like that was my first video so like maybe people were just testing out my channel I don't know but we still have like people are still watching it which um 
Which is a good thing. I might actually, just looking at the time right now, I might actually end up talking enough to fill this whole space. I'm not sure if I do. I'll just tell you when I have to cut off. And oh my god, the foliage brush tool is insane. It was like my lifesaver. I'm not even kidding. Like... Oh, if we had that in Planet Zoo, that would be such a game changer. If you're like, build forests around the edge of your zoo, I mean, oh, I feel like that was, that would also be a thing that would get people, you know, excited again about Planet Zoo. Just something new with Planet Zoo. Oh, because as I'm saying, I don't want Prehistoric Kingdom to take over the magic of Planet Zoo because Prehistoric Kingdom probably would not be this sort of game like this close to planet zoo if it wasn't for planet zoo but you know that was my little rant over i think i've extended the barriers at this point because i don't think i would be putting rocks over it if i didn't but who knows as you can see actually i think i did because it looks a bit bigger i think you guys can tell me what you think in the comment section down below because there was a lot of terrain changing in the process of a rebuilding my barrier. Or maybe it was now. As I was saying, I have no idea, but we're coming very close to the end of the video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys have a really nice rest of the day. Or if you're watching this in the evening, have a good rest of the evening. And I really hope you guys tune into the next video and I'll leave you with the next few seconds of speed build. Thank you guys so much for watching.